Hey guys, it's Ayman here. I was just called to assess a baby with hemodynamic instability and, and metabolic acidosis. Um, long story short, baby has a PDA that is hemodynamically significant. Uh, I just thought I'd show you the images I got on the echo. Yeah, so you can see how does the PDA look like on the echo. This is the RCVU as you see. This is the ascending aorta. Uh, these are the branches of the aortic arch, so brachiocephalic. This is the left common crowded, and this is the left subclavian. And this is the descending aorta. You can see the ambula of the PDA here. If you tilt the probe towards the right side, then you're gonna get the ductal view. So when we doppler the descending aorta prior to the ductal origin, it's very important to identify a normal diastolic flow in the descending aorta as you can see here this is the stolic flow and this is the diastolic flow as opposed to this flow as you can see there is a reversal of the diastolic flow in the uh, descending aorta post ductally of course this is one of the signs of hemodynamic significance of the pda this is a 2d view to show you the pda this is the main pulmonary artery and the descending aorta should be coming from here and this area here is the BDA and it's a pretty big BDA actually. Uh, now if we put the color you can see it right so descending aorta the BDA so this is the uh, flow in the BDA when we doppler it. Uh, this is during uh, systole and this is uh, during diastole. So this is left to right chanting because it's all above the baseline throughout the cardiac cycle Again, this is another view of the BDA. Uh, you can see the pulmonary artery with the two branches, the RPA and the LPA. And this is the PDA here, connecting with the descending aorta, which is coming this way. And this is the flow doubler again. The arch view. This is another view. You can see um, the main pulmonary artery with the descending aorta nicely here. In the BDA, you can see it connecting the descending aorta with the main pulmonary artery. And that's it. I hope that was helpful and please stay tuned for the next video.